head to head, let's compare all these batteries and find out is it really worth ripping this out of your blaster to accommodate one of these bad boys. Let's find out. Nerf rival battery pack will be represented by yellow balls and the 2S LiPo will be represented by the blue balls. <laughs> right, we're going to fire them both simultaneously and we're going to see which one dries first. Let's go! Nerf Rival battery pack will be done in this Nemesis with uh, yellow balls, 25 of which. And the 2S will be done from this Nemesis that has the blue balls. <laughs> um, again, 25 of each because 50 or 100 balls is a lot for a simple test. So let's do this! <laughs> Obviously you guys couldn't really see, um, obviously the Nemesis has some form of, um, well because it's gravity fed the feeding isn't great on them anyway, had to jiggle it a couple of times to get them both feeding, however I would say that is pretty much the same, so upgrading your Nemesis just to accept 2S, definitely not worth it. Right, second test, again Nerf Rival battery pack, we'll be shooting yellow balls and a 3S LiPo on the blue. Let's do this. Right, well there you go. Those blue balls got absolutely smashed. So there you go. Um, three, well, two, two tests done with three different sources of power. Um, the reason I run them both together, even though there was, it was a lot harder because you have to watch two hoppers and obviously with the Nemesis, because it's gravity fed, it is a bit of a chore sometimes to get the balls to go into the um, aggravator properly. Um, so, you know, there, there might be one or two discrepancies in the tests if you were to do it over and over and over again. But, you know, just do it as is issues occur in in game and when testing so you know it is what it is on tampered with i didn't run the test four or five thousand million times um just because it's just a true reflection of doing the test really i suppose um the reason i only use 25 balls in each hopper one was because um 50 balls and 100 balls it's just a lot of it's a lot of cleaning up for a for a kickoff. And secondly, um, the more balls you seem to have in it, the more the harder the aggravator's got to work to get the balls down into the conveyor to then push it through the flywheel. So that's why I only did 25 in each, just to keep things simple. So just a little jiggle would get the balls to drop into the aggravator properly. Any more than that, it becomes a bit of a chore to watch two guns going off at the same time. Um, so that's why I chose 25 in each one. Um, overall, is it worth modding the Nemesis to accept LiPo power? If you're going to do it just for 2S, definitely not. Just get the Nerf Rival battery pack. It's there or thereabouts the same, to be totally honest with you. I think it gets to its max RPM a little bit quicker, but the actual, in terms of performance and, um, I don't know, balls per minute, there's not a massive difference, it doesn't make a great deal of difference. So I wouldn't even bother if you're planning on just sticking a 2S in there. If you're going to stick a 3S in it, it is definitely worth it. I mean, you can see, it just turns it into a whole other beast. It just turns it into a monster. So, yeah, definitely do it. The only thing I would say, the only issue with modern Nemesis is that, obviously, both rev triggers one for the flywheels and the one for the actual conveyor the trigger so your primary trigger are both housed in the handle there and i could not for the lot for the life of me 
get the trigger, sorry, get the um, the switch for the trigger to sit nicely in there. So that, I had to lose a screw port. And you can see, I couldn't even get it to shut properly. And I dremeled some bits out inside there. I'm sure professional modders done it without an issue and, you know, got it to go back exactly as it went. But I've only modded about four or five blasters all together now. So, yeah, I suck, basically. But yeah, just a little quick test for you. I've never seen a video with them both being fired simultaneously. I've seen videos of someone's used the battery pack, sorry, the D, the D batteries, the battery pack, and then LiPo power, but I've never seen them being fired off at the same time, so you could physically watch the differences between the two. Obviously, you'd have to be completely blind to not see differences, but I've never seen them lined up one next to each other. So, you know, that's why I've done that. Hopefully, we well, wouldn't have it taught you anything really, we already knew it, but hopefully it's um, sort of opened your eyes up to how big the difference actually is uh, and should give you some insight into whether you want to do it or not. I mean, for me, after watching that, definitely 100% free S all the way. Just got to do it. Cheery bye.